Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the heart of farming that keeps our fields lush and crops thriving. Irrigation methods. Water is a critical input for agricultural production. Thereby crop irrigation is vital throughout the world in order to provide the world's ever-growing populations with enough food. Irrigation is the, the controlled artificial application of water for agricultural purposes. Through man-made systems to supply water requirements not satisfied by rainfall. Irrigation is a vital component of modern agriculture, playing a crucial role in ensuring food security, enhancing crop yields, and sustaining agricultural economies. Need of irrigation. It plays a pivotal role in agriculture. Supplement natural rainfall. Ensure a consistent water supply for plants. Enabling farmers to cultivate crops throughout the year. Mitigate the impact of droughts. Productivity of irrigated agriculture is often at least twice that of rain-fed agriculture per unit of land. It allows for greater crop diversification and output intensification. Irrigation systems draw water from various sources, including rivers, lakes, reservoirs, wells, and underground aquifers. The availability and sustainability of these water sources are crucial considerations in designing effective irrigation systems. For efficient application of water, it is important to select the method of irrigation which best suits the crop and soil characteristics of the field. There are different types of irrigation based on soils, climates, crops and resources for improving crop yield. Surface irrigation or flood irrigation refers to application of water through gravity flow to the cultivated land. Water is applied either the entire field or part of the field such as furrows, basins, and border strips. While cost-effective, surface irrigation may result in water wastage due to evaporation and runoff. In furrow irrigation, the soil surface is channeled and furrows are formed to direct the flow and avoid flooding the entire field. Water moves in these furrows and seeps through their walls and bottom. It's used for row crops such as cotton, sugarcane, and vegetables. Basin or check basin irrigation is practiced on sloping lands, it involves creating flat or slightly depressed areas around individual plants or groups of plants. Water is applied directly into these basins, promoting localized saturation around the root zones of the crops. Paddy rice grows best when its roots are submerged in water. Other than paddy, it is suitable for alfalfa, clover, citrus, banana, tobacco. Border irrigation is a type of surface irrigation where the field is divided into strips separated by border ridges running down the gradient of the field. It is mainly used for large field crops like sugarcane, cotton. Ring irrigation involves creating a series of circular or ring-shaped basins around the field, with channels or furrows leading water. It is often used for tomato, onion, potato cereals and fodder crops. Spate irrigation, a special form of irrigation using surface water, also called floodwater harvesting. In case of a flood, water is diverted to normally dry river beds using a network of dams, gates and channels and spread over large areas. The moisture stored in the soil will be used thereafter to grow crops. Subsurface irrigation or micro-irrigation method, also known as localized irrigation or low-flow irrigation. Used for small areas and to deliver water directly to the plant roots with a very low flow rate. This can be done with different ways like drip, microsprinklers, bubblers. Drip irrigation is one of the most efficient method of irrigation and it involves delivering water directly to the root zone of the plants. Through a network of pipes, drippers, or emitters. It is suitable for crops like sugarcane, cotton, corn, vegetables, fruits, nuts. It leads to high water use efficiency, reduce pest and disease incidents but it capable of having clogging potential. Sprinkler irrigation is a method of applying water to crops or plants in a controlled manner by dispersing it through a system of pipes, pumps, and sprinklers. In this irrigation technique, water is distributed over the crops in the form of droplets, simulating natural rainfall. It is suitable for crops such as corn, soybeans, wheat, barley, and sugarcane, horticultural crops like vegetables, fruits, and nursery plants. Sprinkler irrigation systems can be designed to adapt to a wide range of field sizes, crop types, and topographies. On the other hand it is expensive to install and maintain and also can lead to an increased risk of diseases. Fertigation refers to the practice of applying fertilizers, nutrients, or soil amendments to crops or plants through an irrigation system. Fertigation involves the simultaneous application of water and fertilizers directly to the root zone of plants. It is suitable for vegetables like tomato, melon, strawberries. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting agricultural informative videos.